Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, I am going to be giving you my updated Ethereum price prediction because, as you probably noticed, Ethereum just broke all-time high and set a new all-time high of $2,650. So, in today's new style of video, I'm going to be giving you technical analysis just a couple of minutes before this video goes out. Literally, as soon as this video is done being shot, it is going to be put up on YouTube. So, guys, I'm looking forward to this. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Guys, we have a lot to get into in today's video, so let's go ahead and jump on over to the chart, if you will do the honors, May. Good deal. Guys, the all-time high on Ethereum just hit $2,650. And if we look down here on the hourly chart, we can see that the last 48 hours or so have been extremely bullish on Ethereum. We have rallied from $2,060 to $2,600. That is an uptick of 30%. In fact, looking over here at CoinMarketCap, we can see that it is one of the only cryptocurrencies that is actually up today. Bitcoin is down 4%. Ethereum is up 4%. So if we look over here to the chart, what you guys are going to notice is that Bitcoin is, excuse me, that Ethereum just broke its previous all time high here at $2,547. It has set a new all time high here at $2,643. I'm going to switch that to red so that it represents resistance. And we're going to go back out here to the daily chart. One of the big things I want to talk to you guys about is something called the volatility, volume, and retail investor interest matrix. It's something that I talk about quite a bit here on stream. And it goes like this First things first, we need to look at the Bollinger Bands and we need to see how much volatility is in the Ethereum space right now. Now, clearly, there's quite a bit because the Bollinger Bands are expanding. They are widening. This is one of those three metrics that we want to look at, and it looks very healthy. The more volatility, naturally, the more people are going to be working in the cryptocurrency space, and you would expect the price to do better. We can also see that volume on Ethereum has been gradually trend trending to the upside over the last couple of weeks. That is a good sign. And if we go on over to Google Trends, let's type that in here. If we go over to Google Trends, you guys will see on Ethereum that its search volume is nearing an all-time high. We are sitting right here around 90. So volume, volatility, and retail investor interest are all very, very healthy. So let's go to full screen really quickly and let's discuss. At the end of the day, guys, the long-term price prediction on cryptocurrencies like Ethereum is not just driven by their fundamentals. Excuse me, it's not just driven by their technicals, even though the technicals are very important. The fundamentals are actually what you want to look at. Right now, we're looking at technicals, and I'm about to show you why I think Ethereum is going to rally even more, maybe up to $3,000 in the next couple of weeks and maybe the next two months or so. But on the long term, we have to look at the fundamentals. If we think about the fundamentals, we see a lot of news coming out with Visa and Ethereum. We see some major improvements coming to Ethereum that are controversial, but hopefully will be very good for Ethereum. EIP-1559, London, Berlin, all these different updates coming to Ethereum, as well as the fact that the altcoin space has been exploding recently. And of course, Ethereum is the king of all the altcoins. So let's jump back onto the chart and let's talk about where Ethereum might go over the next couple of days into the next couple of weeks, and then we'll do some long-term fundamental price targets, which is what you came here for. If we look at Ethereum, we also need to pay attention to the MACD and the RSI. As you can tell, we've just had a bullish cross on the MACD. Really, all we did was fake out to the downside, and we have now reversed back to the upside. This is indicative of strength from the bulls on Ethereum. Even though we had a correction, even though the RSI pulled to the downside around 52, we are still healthy. This market is still trending to the upside, and that is a very, very good thing. You guys want to see this market be healthy? Well, you need to look at the RSI and the MACD. They are very happy about the state of affairs at this current moment. So, guys, there are a couple of other things I want to talk about. Namely, we have a strong uptrend on Ethereum. We can see it right here. This uptrending level of support is one of the things that is holding Ethereum up, and we also have an uptrending level of resistance. This is very healthy because this is what is known as a rising trading channel. Rising trading channels are like rails that a cryptocurrency will get into that help push it and corral it and push it uh, even farther to the upside. This right here may be part of the reason that Ethereum is going into a big rally is because it has well-defined resistance and well-defined support, and both that support and resistance level are pointing to the upside. At the end of the day, guys, I think that within the next probably six weeks, quite frankly, I'm being conservative with that. It will likely happen much sooner than that. Ethereum will be trading at $3,000. If we look out here, $3,000 
in the next 60 days would be 16% in two months. That's unlikely. If, if it's going to go there, it's probably going to go there much quicker. The point here is not the time frame, guys. The point here is that I personally think Ethereum is heading to $3,000. I would love to hear your opinions on that in the comments section down below. Anyway, though, we also want to talk about our long-term technical analysis, our long-term fundamental analysis, and where that might be driving us. And I'm just going to go ahead and start with where I think Ethereum is going. I think that Ethereum is headed to roughly $5,000 within the next six months. Let me go ahead and draw this on the chart and I will show you then why I think it's going there. If I put a level up here at $5,000, you can see that that would be roughly double where we are right now. We can see that, uh, that Ethereum here went into a 400% rally relatively recently. And what we saw was that Ethereum had a nice little uh, bull pennant right here that we broke bullish out of. Notice this. Notice how we rallied into it and we rallied even farther. We saw that Ethereum had a bull pennant right here. And if we extrapolate this, this puts our price target up close to $3,000. Notice this price target right up here. Well, at the end of the day, guys, once we break $3,000, the gloves are off. Ethereum would be well over a $350 billion market capitalization. Bitcoin would likely be well on its way to 100K, and the whole cryptocurrency market would be very healthy. Let's go back to full screen while I talk about this briefly. Guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum move very closely together. Whatever Ethereum does, Bitcoin's typically going to follow, and vice versa. When Bitcoin does very well, Ethereum's typically going to follow. I'm very bullish on the entire cryptocurrency market as a whole, which means I'm probably going to be very bullish on Ethereum as a whole. So in in the next six months, excuse me, in the next six weeks or so, more than likely in the next like two weeks, to be real with you, I think Ethereum is going to roughly $3,000. And based on a plethora of fundamental indicators that I don't have time to get into in today's video, we've talked about them a lot here on this channel. Tune in to, to, tune in to tomorrow's live stream and we will be sure to talk about them even more. I think that Ethereum is heading to five, maybe even six thousand dollars in the next six months or so. Some people have had price targets as high as like eighteen thousand dollars by the end of the year. I don't think we're going quite there, but I could very easily see Bitcoin, excuse me, Bitcoin, Ethereum having a half of a trillion dollar market capitalization within the next sixteen months. Within the next six months, excuse me. It's tired. Long day. Need more coffee. Guys, make sure if you enjoyed this video that you hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more content. We actually just hit ninety thousand subscribers in this morning's live stream. Shout Shout out to everyone who is new here. We have some amazing stuff coming right down the pike. It's not far off, and it's stuff that you are not going to want to miss. By the way, guys, we are trying to do this new style of video where I record the entire video in one take. You might have noticed there were literally no cuts here, and I've just been kind of doing my thing. The reason for that is because when we have to cut up the video and do all those cuts, it means the video comes out like four hours after I've shot it, so it's actually not up to date. But you're getting up-to-date technical analysis because I'm recording this at 2.13. It's probably going to be up by 2.30. Tell us in the comments section down below if you like this new format or if you like the old school format better. You're going to be getting the same intro, outro, and all the snap and stuff. Make sure you tell us down below. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter if you haven't already. If you haven't checked it out, check out the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy down below. Link in the description to learn everything you need to know about Bitcoin technical analysis so that you can become a profitable trader. Guys, it is going to wrap it out for today's video. Before I go, though, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh!